If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be about two of the new shades of the Fenty Beauty Stunnet Lip Paint. So I have unbuttoned and uncuffed. Very excited to put them to test because I absolutely love the red shade. I've been wearing this a ton. I did do, when it came out, I'll link it, a video where I was comparing it to one of my favorite uh, liquid lipstick at the time, the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. So you were able to compare the shades and also how they wore differently. And I wanted to wear these now to see if the formula is consistent because even if I love this one doesn't mean that every single shade will have a perfect formula so I wanted to put it to the test to just let you know plus I do want to see if I have any shades of lipstick that are similar to these in my collection to let you know what it looks like because I mean just because it looks like this in the packaging doesn't mean it's going to suit every skin tone and undertone although these uh, shades were chosen to actually match everyone but I mean doesn't mean that those colors are going to be what you actually want so let's start so obviously this one uncensored was already out this is like a deep uh, bluish red it's not overly pinky it's definitely like a deep red it's gorgeous then we have now uncuffed which in the bottle looks like a mauvey color that has been really popular something that a lot of people enjoy the formula seems to be also very opaque and even and then last but not least we have unbutton which looks like a peachy brownie nude all through colors the formula seems to be just as good on those ones obviously this is just a arm swatch. Okay, so I checked in my MAC lipstick collection uh, the shades that were the closest as possible as the two new ones to, not in an effort by the way, to try and find dupes. I feel like I could, I would have to go through all my liquid lipstick to try and find something like that. But more to give you an idea which ones are kind of similar, to give you an idea how dark or warm these are, because obviously just because they swatch like this on my skin tone doesn't mean it's going to be the same for you. So let me show you. You know what? I never did it in my past video with the uncensored shade, so let me do it with this one too because I feel like it could just be helpful. So uh, I wanted to compare it to Ruby Roo and Russian Red because very popular colors and you're going to be able to see the differences in these ones. We so have Ruby Roo which is extremely drying but I love the formula anyway and you're going to see that in the swatch it's definitely lighter and like more blue bright pink as you can see. And then if I swatch Russian Red you're going to see that it's definitely closer to that one. It's still not an exact dupe, but I feel like you can kind of notice that they are pretty close to each other. So if you like the color of Russian Red, but you want the formula of the other one, or vice versa, now you know that they are close enough that I would consider them similar. For Uncuffed, I wanted to compare it to Mare? Mer? I never know how people pronounce it. because That's pretty much the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw it. So if I swatch it close to it, you can see that Mare, Mer is actually a bit lighter and pinkier. And then all of the ones I feel like are gonna be even lighter, for example, Faux, which is also one of my favorite lipstick, is also lighter and pinkier. And I tried to see if I had something that was even a bit like maybe brownier like it, and I was thinking Twig. And you can see it is actually closer. Like it's not quite as dark, and I feel like Twig is a bit like redder. But uh, yeah, I don't have anything quite like it. But hopefully it gives you an idea of the shade by comparison to the other one. I thought maybe Spirit would be closer, but as you can see, it's definitely brownier. And then the, uh, oops, last one that I have, which is uh, Unbutton. I feel like it's the one that is the most unique compared to what I have in my collection because it's not usually a shade I go for a lot. Personally, I have a neutral to cool undertone and I feel like a really beige or warm nude wash me out way more than like a bright orange for example. So if I compare it, so I wanted to compare it to things that are well known. I thought about Velvet Teddy but it seems to be darker already but let me swatch them. Yeah you can see Velvet Teddy is definitely warmer and there's more mauve to it and I thought maybe Yash. <laughs> I always think it's funny when I say that. I'm French Canadian and <laughs> that sounds really close to how we say like yuck. <laughs> uh. And I feel like this one is closer, but there's definitely like, it's a bit darker and I feel like in person it looks maybe a bit like peachier, like brownier. Hopefully you can notice, but it's definitely the closest one that I have to it. Again, the purpose here is not to find an exact dupe, it's just to give you an idea of the, the exact shade because it's very practical that the swatches are swatched on different uh, skin tones, but the undertone can also make a huge difference. So yeah. <laughs> 
Now let's go to the real fun. Uh, I'm gonna be testing this one, applying it on my lips and wearing it all day and I will be including the clips of me doing so with the other one on a different day. Uh, just to give you an idea, this is my natural lip color. Uh, they are pretty reddish, but these are so pigmented, I don't feel like they really are affected by the natural lip color, but just wanted to show you anyway. And you're gonna see one swipe with these full intensity. Like, they're pigmented. And I like that I don't have to constantly go and back and dip to get more colors, like, there's a lot of product on the brush. The form is surprisingly quite liquidy, so I have to be careful to stay within the lines. Um, so first impression, I'm not sure actually if it changes color when it dries, so let me just put a little bit of a fresh swash, ne swash next to it, swatch. Uh, maybe it dries a bit darker, you might notice. It, it looks a bit peachier before it dries and then becomes like brownier, which I think I will appreciate for my skin tone, or mostly my undertone. Uh, this color definitely seems to already emphasize uh, the lines of my lips. I personally don't really care a lot about it. It definitely is up to you. It seems to dry quite fast though. Actually, I need to try and find it. I think it's in my purse, but I also had MAC kind of sexy. And I feel like this might be actually closer to that, but anyway, uh, the shade, I like it better when it dries because again, a little bit brownier, I feel like it suits me more. Uh, it's a bit darker than expected, but not in a bad way. I feel like personally, I would probably wear it with a lip liner, like think uh, MAC Whirl, for example, which is uh, a bit brownier and mauvier. I think it would just make it easier for me to pull it off. But even on its own, I don't feel like it's one of those products that you need to line your lips to make it work for you. Okay, let me zoom you in. So from up close, hopefully you can see that you can see the lines of my lips. I don't have any lip fillers or anything, so definitely I have lines on my lips naturally. So whenever I smile, you can see them. I don't think it's anything super dramatic. I didn't have that issue with the red shade, so I just want to, again, throw it out there so you have all the information before purchasing it. I don't know if it's ready or not, but we're gonna try a lip swatch because it seems to be uh, dry now. It doesn't fully dry or at least this one didn't, so I'm expecting a little bit of transfer. Yeah, you can see there's a tiny bit. It's nothing dramatic. Uh, it doesn't seem to change the amount that is on my lips. So I'm gonna go on with my day. I'm gonna be just drinking for a few hours and then I'm planning on making, not alone, uh, homemade sushi for the first time. So first off, it's gonna be a struggle, but second of all, there's gonna be a lot of eating. So I wanted to see if the lipstick would survive that too. Although sushis are not that messy, but maybe a little bit. We'll see. Just want to say though, now that it's fully dried, I like the color more than I did at first. It definitely dries a bit brownier. So if you swatch it for the first time, you're like, oh, it's more peachy than I expected. Give it a second. And now I really love it. So it's really pretty. Okay. Definitely grew on me really fast. <laughs> now let's test uncuffed on me. I haven't tried it yet. So I'm excited. Ooh, it's actually darker than expected. FYI, I'm aware it clashes horribly with my cheek products. I'm testing a blush, so I didn't expect uh, my makeup to look very nice. And I also kept my eyes completely empty, so it wouldn't clash too much, but still a little much. Um, I don't know, my first impression is I think it might be a bit dark from my personal taste. I can see how this color, this color would look gorgeous on deeper skin tones or like medium skin tone up. Personally on me, I think it's a bit harsh, but I might just feel like this because of the cheeks. I feel like, yeah, you know what? I think it's the cheap products ruining it for us, but that's the color um, uncuffed on me. <laughs> I'm hiding the cheek, otherwise it just doesn't look right. Hopefully you do see it. I feel like, again, that color seems to emphasize my uh, the lines of my lips a bit more than the red one. It feels comfortable on my lips. Again, let's do the yeah, as you can see, there's some transfer, but really not a lot. So, so far it feels comfortable. I will update you at the end of the day. So it's been five and a half hours and I wanted to update you on the lipstick. I have been just editing. I had a little bit of a snack and I've been drinking tea for the last couple of hours. Actually, I probably should show you the mug so you can hopefully see the lipstick transfer. Maybe you can kind of see it. There's not that much transfer considering that I've been drinking out of this mug for the last hours. So if I zoom you in a little bit, you can see that the lipstick is still all over my lips. If I actually try to kiss on my hand, 
there's barely any transfer at this point. I personally think it looks fine. It is feeling drying right now. I feel like you can kind of notice, although I just had a sip of tea, I probably shouldn't have done that, but you can see on the inside definitely is starting to feel and look dry. Is it dramatic? No, am I still okay with it? Yes, if I were out and about and I felt like it was starting to be too dry, I would probably personally just dab a little bit of lip balm because it's not fully waterproof, uh, transfer proof. I don't really mind if it's a little bit more because obviously lip balm can tend to uh, break down the lipstick a bit more, but. So yes, at this point, it's still going strong. I will be updating you after I eat. I'll show you all the food. I actually need to go and help a bit because otherwise I, I won't deserve all the sushi. So <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, so far it's doing great. I wanted to show you what eight hours of wear would look like. Uh, it doesn't feel dry. I feel like at this point, it's gonna be the difference between now and like the update for the next color. Let me zoom you in. When I'm talking, it doesn't look that bad. I do have some on the inside and the sides, mostly that uh, faded due to me eating and drinking and everything. Since there is a little bit of transfer when that happens, actually, let me try to... Yeah, there's still just a little bit of transfer, nothing drastic. You will notice it maybe on your glass of water, but like, that's pretty much it. But yeah, there's still a bunch of color left for sure. So this is the amount that was left on my lips after eight hours. Uh, those are all the sushi that were made. I get absolutely zero credit. I didn't do any of those, but I will be eating as many as I can. Uh, I don't know where they are, but we have California ones. We had some spicy salmon. We have avocado sweet potato. And then we have the shrimp with coconut batter. I'm excited. All this effort and we just realized that we forgot the chopsticks. <laughs> Still tastes good, we're, we're just fine. Sushi took way longer to make and eat than planned, but as you saw, we had a lot to eat, weren't able to finish them all. And the lipstick survived until, you know, all the sushi. I don't think it would be fair to expect anything to survive that, but it, I feel like it, you can kind of see that there's still some on the outside, but again, nothing would have survived. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to remove what's on my lips because I don't think you can see that well how much is left because it's kind of close at this point to my lip color so just gonna make it white because it's all it takes to remove it which I think is a good thing you don't have to use like super waterproof makeup remover if you don't want to. I think there was still some, you know, left on my lips. Again, that was a big deal. It, it had been like 10 hours. I don't expect my lipstick, generally speaking, to last this long. I am happy with the longevity. The comfort, I feel like, let me zoom you out a bit. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, uh, the color, I was happy with it. The longevity, I was perfectly fine with it. I do find that it was a bit drying, nothing crazy, but I'm not someone that gets uncomfortable with matte lipstick, generally speaking, anyway. So it's definitely a you know what you like. I do feel like it looked drier on me than the red one. Personally, I'm happy with it and I will be continuing to wear it. So overall, I don't notice a difference in between the formula of the three shades, which is obviously a good thing. There are two other shades that are available. There's a black one and there's a dark chocolatey one. I personally didn't get them because I have one black one already that I don't use very often and I knew that the brown one would be too dark on my skin tone. So in order, my favorites are uncensored, Unbutton, uncuffed. And now I'm gonna go and uh, be in a food coma for a little while. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos. I will be putting on the screen other ones that I've done that I recommend you check out. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.